Treat Williams, December 1, 1951 to June 12, 2023, was an American actor, author, writer, and aviator who appeared on film, stage, and television. He had over 120 credits to his name and was nominated for several awards, including three Golden Globes. He was best known for his roles in Hare, Everwood, Chicago Fire, and Chesapeake Shores. Early Life Williams was born in Stamford, Connecticut, to Marion, an antiques dealer, and Richard Norman Williams, a corporate executive. He moved to Rowayton, Connecticut, when he was three. He was a descendant of several notable figures, such as Senator William Henry Barnum and Declaration of Independence signer Robert Treat Payne. He played football in high school and graduated from Kent School in Connecticut and Franklin and Marshall College in Pennsylvania. Family Williams married Pam Van Sant in 1988 and had two children with her, Gil Williams and Ellie Williams. He lived in Park City, Utah, and Dorset, Vermont. Wife Williams married Pam Van Sant in 1988. She is an actress and producer who worked on the documentary series American Masters, 1985. They met at a party in New York City and dated for two years before tying the knot. They had a private wedding ceremony in Vermont, where they owned a farmhouse. They lived in Park City, Utah, and Dorset, Vermont. Children. Williams and Van Sant had two children, Gil Williams and Ellie Williams. Gil was born in December 1992 and Ellie was born in September 1998. They often accompanied their parents to red carpet events and movie premieres. Gil followed his father's footsteps and became an actor, appearing in films such as The Congressman, 2016, and The Host, 2017. Ellie also showed interest in acting and joined her father on the set of Chicago Fire, 2015. Parents Williams was born to Marion and Richard Norman Williams in Stamford, Connecticut. Marion was an antiques dealer and Richard was a corporate executive. They moved to Rowayton, Connecticut, when Williams was three years old. Education Williams attended Kent School in Connecticut and Franklin and Marshall College in Pennsylvania. He studied acting at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. Career Williams made his film debut in 1975 in Deadly Hero. He rose to fame in 1979 with his starring roles in Hare and Steven Spielberg's in 1941. He went on to appear in many films, such as The Eagle Has Landed, Prince of the City, Once Upon a Time in America, The Late Shift, and 127 Hours. He also starred in several television series, such as Eddie Dodd, Good Advice, Everwood, Heartland, Against the Wall, Chicago Fire, Chesapeake Shores, American Odyssey, and Blue Bloods. He also performed on Broadway in shows like Grease, Over Here, Once in a Lifetime, The Pirates of Penzance, Love Letters, and Follies. He directed a short film called Texan in 1994 and wrote a children's book called Air Show. In 2010. Net Worth. Williams had an estimated net worth of $8 million to $10 million according to various sources. He earned his wealth from his acting career and other ventures. Awards. Williams was nominated for three Golden Globe Awards for his roles in Hair, 1979, A Streetcar Named Desire, 1984, and Everwood, 2003. He was also nominated for two Satellite Awards for Everwood, 2003, and The Late Shift, 1996, an Independent Spirit Award for Smooth Talk, 1985, two Screen Actors Guild Awards for Everwood, 2003, and 127 Hours, 2010, a Primetime Emmy Award for The Late Shift, 1996, a Daytime Emmy Award for Beyond the Prairie. The True Story of Laura Ingalls Wilder, 2000, a Drama Desk Award for Follies, 2001, a Theatre World Award for Greece, 1972, and a Cable ACE Award for Max and Helen, 1990. Humanitarian Activities Williams was an avid aviator who held licenses to fly airplanes and helicopters. He owned several aircrafts and flew them for humanitarian missions. For example, he flew relief supplies to Haiti after the 2010 earthquake. Williams was also involved with charitable organizations such as Angel Flight, which provides free air transportation for people in need of medical care. Williams was a supporter of the arts and education. 
He donated money to his alma mater, Franklin and Marshall College, and served on its board of trustees. He also supported the Sundance Institute and the Sundance Film Festival. Williams was a skier and a sailor who enjoyed nature and outdoor activities. He lived in Park City, Utah, and Dorset, Vermont, where he owned a farmhouse. He was passionate about preserving the environment and wildlife. Demise. Williams was involved in a motorbike accident in Vermont on June 12, 2023, and passed away at the age of 71. He was riding his motorcycle when a car pulled into his path and struck him. He was flown by helicopter to a hospital in Albany, New York, where he passed away from his wounds. His admirers, co-workers, acquaintances, and family all expressed sorrow at his passing. Conclusion Richard Treat Williams was a versatile and talented actor who had a long and successful career in film, television, and theater. He was also an author, a director, a producer, and an aviator who had many interests and passions. He was a loving husband and father who left behind a legacy of memorable performances and humanitarian work. Thank you for watching. For more information such as this, please subscribe and click on the bell icon, let's meet in the next video.